When we discuss volcanoes, people usually have different images pop into their heads. They could be volcanoes like the ones in Hawaii or some that form the Ring of Fire around the Pacific Ocean. However, what do you think of when we mention supervolcanoes? Maybe you think of volcanoes that were responsible for massive amounts of devastation like Mount St. Helens or Mount Vesuvius. Unfortunately, the truth is much worse. Supervolcanoes are large volcanoes that have erupted at some point with enough power to displace at least 240 cubic miles of earth or magma. Additionally, supervolcanoes are not exactly extinct. Most are just dormant. The scariest part is that there are actually supervolcanoes located on Earth that have yet to erupt, and others that are overdue for an eruption. This would spell disaster for potentially millions of people. From Yellowstone to Lake Toba, here are five of the largest supervolcanoes lurking beneath the Earth. Yellowstone National Park is one of the most serene places on the planet. It is home to a vast array of wildlife and is full of absolutely stunning landscapes. Even more notable are the geysers at Yellowstone, such as Old Faithful, which routinely shoots towers of boiling and sometimes acidic water into the air. Now, as amazing as that sounds, it does beg the question, why is boiling water shooting out of the ground? Believe it or not, Yellowstone National Park sits on the caldera of a supervolcano that last erupted nearly 630,000 years ago. We use the term last erupted because it's only dormant. The park rests on top of two massive magma chambers. The shallower of the two chambers is of particular concern. To give you an idea of the size of this chamber, it's about 55 miles long and 25 miles wide. In order to get an idea of the activity beneath the park, scientists have been measuring the ground above the magma chamber for movement. On average, the ground has been rising 0.6 inches per year, indicating that magma is filling the chamber and putting pressure on the Earth above. However, between 2004 and 2008, the upward movement of the ground averaged about 3 inches per year. Movements of this size have caused earthquakes in the area. Luckily, they've all been minor. An explosion of this type would make nuclear explosions seem minuscule. Scientists will continue to monitor in the future. There are usually warning signs before an eruption. So, all we can do is hope for the best. On the island of Sumatra in Indonesia lies Lake Toba, a lake that sits on the collapsed caldera of a supervolcano that last erupted only 75,000 years ago, not long as far as the age of the Earth is concerned. It is also known for being the largest known explosive eruption in Earth's history. The lake is about 62 miles long, 19 miles wide, and 1,657 feet deep. Along with this being the largest lake in Indonesia, it is the largest volcano lake in the world. These numbers are actually very important when we talk about the scale of this supervolcano. Many theories exist about how massive the last eruption was, but conservative estimates have shown that around 671 cubic miles of magma erupted and around 191 cubic miles was deposited as ash fell. It was enough to blanket all of Southeast Asia in at least six inches of ash. According to studies done and soil samples taken, parts of Malaysia were covered with 30 feet of ash, and parts of central India were covered in 20 feet of ash. One theory about the full devastation of the explosion known as the Toba Catastrophe Theory suggests that this event led to a genetic bottleneck in human evolution about 70,000 years ago when the human population dwindled to between 3,000 and 10,000. Although genetic studies have proven the bottleneck to be true, it is yet to be determined if the Lake Toba eruption was the cause. Although the volcano has not erupted in recent history, scientists have put forth evidence that the magma chamber underneath Lake Toba is refilling. Some parts of the caldera have shown uplift because of this. Seismic activity in the area has also been on the rise, with earthquakes being a pretty common occurrence. The most notable of these was the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake. Registering as a 9.1 magnitude, this massive earthquake produced the tidal wave, 
that killed 230,000 people. Sitting in eastern California, adjacent to Mammoth Mountain, lies the Long Valley Caldera, measuring about 20 miles long, 11 miles wide, and nearly 3,000 feet deep. It is the remnant of a huge volcanic eruption that occurred about 760,000 years ago, emptying the magma chamber to the point of collapse. It left us with the view of Long Valley that we have today. When the Long Valley supervolcano erupted, it spewed out 140 cubic miles of material. For scale, Mount St. Helens only ejected 0.29 cubic miles of material. Eruptions of this magnitude are enough to not only destroy everything in its path, but also affect the climate on a larger scale. So, along with burying much of the western United States in ash, this eruption could possibly have affected the environment to the point that average temperatures would have decreased for a number of years. Although this supervolcano is dormant and doesn't seem to show any signs of eruption, organizations like the US Geological Survey are continuing to keep a close eye on it. Certain warning signs, such as uplift activity in the ground, have not been found to be present. However, other warning signs, such as an increase in seismic activity in the area, have been noted. So even though we are not in any sort of danger in the immediate future, nor are any of the next couple of generations, scientists still feel it prudent to remain watchful of the area. A relatively unknown supervolcano, but one of great significance, is the La Garita Caldera, located in the San Juan Mountains near the town of Crete in southwestern Colorado. The eruption that created the La Garita Caldera ranks as one of the largest known volcanic eruptions, ranking up there with the eruption of the Lake Toba supervolcano. The caldera itself is a whopping 22 miles wide and 62 miles long. It is evidence of the massive eruption that happened nearly 27 million years ago. The area that was ravaged by the eruption includes the vast majority of Colorado itself. The Fish Canyon Tuff is the ash flow that resulted from the eruption. It covered an area of at least 11,000 square miles and was an average of 330 feet thick. In terms of scale, the Lagarita volcanic eruption was around 5,000 times greater than the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. Although this was one of the most devastating eruptions in Earth's history, we have little to fear from it today. This is one supervolcano that is thankfully considered extinct. Lake Topa, located in the center of New Zealand's North Island, is the caldera of the supervolcano Topa Volcano. This volcano ranks in our list as the supervolcano that has shown activity in the most recent years, with the first eruptions only 300,000 years ago. Another super eruption, called the Oruanui eruption, occurred only 26,500 years ago. It was one of the most recent eruptions and the one that was responsible for shaping the modern caldera. What makes this supervolcano unique isn't only the sheer size of it, but Topa Volcano is made up of multiple volcanic vents that yield different eruptions. The most recent major eruption, known as the Hatepe eruption, occurred between AD 180 and 233, which ejected around 29 cubic miles of material, of which 7.2 cubic miles was ejected in only a few minutes. This makes the Hatepe eruption the most violent eruption Earth has seen in the last 5,000 years. The Topol volcano gives geologists a bit more concern than normal. This supervolcano has remained active, spewing small eruptions from time to time. However, a look at history shows a startling pattern with major eruptions occurring once every thousand years or so. Considering recent history, the volcano has been inactive for just about twice that long. So, if history is able to offer accurate predictions, there could be trouble on the horizon. Luckily, there are teams constantly monitoring the area. Supervolcanoes have the potential to change the world for thousands of years after an eruption. But unlike in history, the Earth has become much more populated. There are supervolcanoes that lie a short distance from cities such as Los Angeles, Las Vegas, Phoenix, Denver, San Diego, and San Francisco. We could be looking at a potential loss of life in the tens of millions. 
Entire cultures would be ravaged and the earth as we know it would change. As science continues to advance, we will hopefully be able to develop better warning signs so that preventative measures could be taken. Either way, one thing is for sure. The natural flow of our earth cannot be stopped. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to click the link on screen now to check out another. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.